Hi, it's Michelle back again with day six of the Art Journal Junkie Challenge. Today we are working with orange, aqua and red. Our, quote, our affirmation is, today I will be fearless and the theme or word is cogs or steampunk. And I am trying to work out what direction I'm going to go in with this one. I knew I was going to work with the stencil. Um, it's one I designed for Biardi for the Time Flies collection and that's about as far as I got <laughs> and I pulled out because it had the red and aqua on it um, I pulled out some of my brave wallpaper uh, I'll add the links in the, the description for this one as well and I'm just using some uh, I think it's chromacryl molding paste or texture paste on here I'm just going to create some texture through the stencil and I'm just using my silicon brush to apply it and obviously my stencil was quite dirty so it has um, stained the the paste which I don't mind because I'm going in a grungy direction now I'm adding some acrylic inks I have got a Dala Rowney uh, in the turquoise and art spectrum in a teal and I've just sort of mixed the two adding some water to um, get the splashes and drips to come down so I'm just wanting the, the blue to sort of um, soak in up around our texture paste so we're just sort of enhancing our raised areas as well as adding a nice little feature in the background. Just using a baby wipe and paper towel to just dab back where I want it a little bit lighter. But I also want the drips not to be so heavy. And I used this page um, when I was demoing in the Q&A and the, the hardest part is waiting for your layers to dry on each layer especially when you're working with warm and cool colors but you can see where I wasn't happy where the right side was heading so I've used white paint over the over it again and have re-added my ink now to bring some of the texture back I've used a um, Prismacolor pencil but I wasn't happy with it just wasn't bringing up enough so then I've gone back to a metallic oil pastel crayon and then I've used a heat gun to make the metallic part shine here I'm adding some orange chrome yellow in the Dr. PH Martin's inks and adding a few drips working out what am I going to put on this page and it's been a, a hard couple of days and I wasn't even sure it was going to be stay up to date today. So just getting this page done has been an achievement in itself. So I've stuck down my image, add some, added some more ink, use a stencil because I wanted to sort of replicate that splotchy pattern in the black into the blue. So I'm creating a transition from the black and the blue there. And then I thought maybe the cogs would look better if they were in black so I put the black crayon over the top but I didn't like it <laughs> so then I went back over the top with the gold crayon and reheat that so the metallic gold popped back out and then I added some black um, Dalo Rioni black ink so this is the artist ink and just creating some more drips so I want to bring a little bit more grungy in with the black. I've added some black ink circles and spritzed them with water and then I thought I'll make it a little bit more steampunky on the photo. But I did it and I wasn't loving it so I thought well maybe this cog will fit over there. <laughs> so I'm just cutting out the center a little bit bigger so I can see a little bit more of her eye and that's the fun about creativity. There's no right or wrong. You just keep going. It's just another layer away from where you want to be. So I'm doing the same with the 
the blue ink making circles, spritzing it water and then dabbing it back. So whenever you find, like I thought, oh, well, I'll bring the lashes over the top, of those lines over the top or underneath, so it, no, <laughs> start it over the top, put the paint over it and push them back under. Um, when you're working with acrylic paints, you can just keep working over and under and just keep building up your layers. So I just bought, bought a little bit more of that blue acrylic paint. That was the turquoise and the, the Dina Wakeley paints. Just put a little bit over the cogs and over her lips. And the, hard, the hardest part really is waiting for each layer to dry. So I'm just adding a little bit more, extending the, those black marks out, adding some water to it to soften it, putting a black edge around the page, and then adding some orange and black splatters. So this is sort of where I'm bringing in my orange element into the page. A little bit more pen work, waiting for the layers to dry. <laughs> it's always um, it's why I usually have a few things on the go at a time because while one's drying, I can work on another one. So I'm just adding some white pen work now, adding some dots and spots and a little extra detail and some lines. So when it comes to your pages and your creativity, there's no rules. It's just whatever, whatever is leading the way at the time. And a lot of the times when I'm really undecisive, I'll just go stick it and commit. So just stick it down and then work with it, make it work. So now I'm connecting my image to the whole page. So extending my lines out past the image um, that was printed helps just connect everything there and now I want to just sort of bring it back to a focal so I'm just adding a little frame around that as well usually I will just go straight in with my pen to do some writing but I had a few words that I wanted to make sure I was able to fit in so I just wrote them in pencil first and I will go back and erase them at a later time when they're completely dry. So just adding some more pen work and a, a border using my gold Signo pen to fill in the lettering just so it continues that the cog pattern with the gold and black across the top. And I still feel like it's a little bit of a hot mess but it's a happy hot mess. Um, I really enjoyed the process that it was able to get me out of feeling feeling really fearful and feeling in a dark place um, and in pain and it's just helped like just in creating this has really helped shift my energy on how I was feeling. So that alone for me is like I've accomplished something that I set out to do. So really looking forward to seeing what you guys do for this prompt and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Okay so I decided after I had finished that her face needed some orange and red too. <laughs>